this is the view from our window in the hotel in Zurich. If you need to know the time, you just look out the window. And quaint little stores. So this is our hotel in Zurich. And today's Wednesday, September 7th. It's the noisy clock. And we have this lovely river. And these houses look like... Well, some of them look like they're from Holland. Yeah. And this is the place of the fire watches. This was the place of the fire watches till 1911. And when this happened, they put a red flag in the direction where the houses were burning. Or a red lantern during night under the bay window in the direction where the houses were burning and had a horn. And the fire brigade went in the indicated direction from the top of St. Peter. No yeah. iPhones. Right. <laughs> the head of a goat because this house is the house of a butcher. And there's the head of the goat. Uh, from the 14th till 17th century. Yeah. yeah. Of course, renovated yeah. several times. <laughs> Little morning dance. <laughs> the boy bunny and the girl bunny. So this is a wooden ladder for a cat to climb up and down in this neighborhood. Left side the ETH, uh, Federal Technical High School, the highest grade by engineering, and on the right side just the university, uh, the rest uh, beside engineering. And, and which river was this again? Limat. Limat. Coming out from the lake. Oh, it comes out from the lake out and then goes the to lake. the Rhine. And goes to the river of Rhine. Yeah. And, and, and this is Zurich. The fishes. I see. That's the slaughterhouse. And here's the government building. Yeah. And the town hall. And the, behind uh, the church, you will guess the part of uh, part of the main house. Oh, but it's too it's, hazy to see. Yeah, it's daisy. Yes behind the lake. Yeah. This is from me. So the trams yeah, are always blue, from the blue lake. So this is the residential house. We have to maintain these houses to yeah. from medieval uh, times, 14th to 17th century. It's called Fortuna Gasa. Gasa means lane. Huh. So the prisoners would be in that little cage in the carousel. And as they'd go around, people would be <laughs> insulting them. This building is from the 1890s. The name of the house is referring to this uh, little carousel of the I see. So it's from the carousel. The name is from the carousel of medieval time. Zur Trille. 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 Green. Turning. So this is the University Hospital. And this is this MIT building, ETH, Federal... And this is their university, uh, Federal Technical School, the equivalent of MIT. It's a big building. So this is an exhibition inside the Technical University, all the different... Uh, all the different companies set up booths. So this one is engineering, urban development. So you are you are involved. And this is nutrition. Yes. So as we move the uh, sand around. It, it, um, the topography changes, the computer calculates and can fill the water in the lakes or the rivers. Here's an, here's an exhibit about the architects and the carpenters. 
Lake over there, Spring Fountain, where the insurance companies are. Let's repair the hill. We are on 400 meters, and the hill is 870. So this is the valley. And the church, front. Saint Peter Church. Yes. Stork, stork. Your hotel stork. You will see this rose building. You see in front of uh, Saint Peter Church on the Latin Kings So that's our hotel. Nathan. With the with the uh, clock tower in and the now back. Now you may also recognize the administration buildings. Couple. Oh, this is the observation tower. Yeah, observation tower Urania gave the name to this uh, administration buildings. And that's where the um, telescopes are. Yeah. And these are administration buildings. So this is all the built river, where the moraine was the from the river. Ice Age. It's between the houses coming well, out. From the so these are parts of the Alps. Way in the distance. Central library for the students ahead here. And this were the monks' cells before. So this is 1864. He came together with Wagner, the composer. Oh. Wagner. In this city. So this used to be a uh, house of the wealthy, two, two wealthy families. Now it's the offices of the professors. And this yellow house was a guest house of the wealthy family. Built in the, seventh, in the um, 18th century. So this is the University of Zurich. And these are all the students here to greet me. The dental center ah, I see. of the future dentists. And this is all part of University of Zurich. So in the university, this is the 20th century architecture. Building. Yeah, this is the. We are not in the in the Polytech anymore. Right. This is the university. That's true. This is the university, and they're here for orientation today. That's why it's so crowded with students. And this is the Hall of Light because of the skylight. This is where the students can figure out what courses they want to take, you know, or even what to major in. This is Linguiski. So these must be famous sculptures or wall decorations. That got moved from ancient areas to here. The story of some battle. It took a very long battle. So this is the new law school. It's built in an old building. And it's a big ellipse. So this whole six story library is suspended on poles. And the Spanish architect Santiago de Calatrava and he did this artwork too. So here we are on Lake Zurich and this is just where the Rhine River starts. This is the first bridge. Swiss Life, Zurich Financial Service, Zurich uh, Insurance Company, Swissly. Yeah. So these students should be in school now. They are not all uh, students because they have a free day to get informed. This is the big paddle wheeler.
it's over a hundred years old and they still use a turbo. But now it uses a diesel engine instead of coal. <laughs> This is the only building in Switzerland. Oh, that's Over there beside Le Corb the China Garden. Le Corbusier, the French architect. Le Corbusier. And he built a quarter in uh, Chandigarh in India oh. as well. Hmm. This is the China Garden. The yeah, China Garden. So the China Garden is a really a, a park. Of and this was the kilometer zero here. Yeah. The beginning and the end ending of each uh, trip. It's the biggest train station in Europe. Yes. And it's so called the Wanner. The Wanner Hall. Wanner was the architect mm -hmm. who was the builder. He came from Stuttgart. He was a German uh, architect. The Wanner Hall. So this is the art from the wife of Tangley. I think I think it's a train. So this is our train schedule from 9.05 to our gold hour, but it's a 35 minute space which means delay. You may also have a... Uh... Yeah, that's good. So we're up here in Zurich and headed down to Lucerne. Lucerne. And we'll be taking boat rides and there's Lucerne. It's now and then the Riki. There's Zurich. So we're going this way through the lake, through Zug, and then to Lucerne. And then we'll go to Mount Riki. It's now here with all the railway lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is but you will see the this mountain trees. later on. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not so key. But these are the cherry trees of Zug. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are also cornfields, cornfields, and weed. But it's a nice open uh, area. Uh, so this is the town of Zug. Z-U-G. This is Lake Zug. So this is Mount Rigi. We're going to be taking a cogwheel train up to the top. Right now there are clouds up there. But it was supposed to rain and clearly it's not going to be raining. But later on it may clear up, we hope. So we're pulling into Lucerne train station. And this guy is a klutz. <laughs> the second hand will stop at the 12, it stops, and then the minute hand jumps, and then it starts again. So it actually goes a little faster than a second for the 60 seconds, then stays at the 12, and then the minute hand will jump. So it's cantilevered. It's a roof of the concert hall here in Lucerne. Who is the architect for this one? Jean Nouvel Jean from Jean. Paris. I see. Jean Louvel. See, this is an insurance, Swiss insurance company. And who, who is the architect? I don't know. Ah. Uh, it's not important. Right. Not an important one. And also this building on the top is uh, part of the insurance. Uh, the headquarter of this uh, work and life insurance. It's uh, federal insurance. Oh, I see. Hmm. And the square is with this... Uh, Here's lovely petunias just hanging out here in the square. The you see, it's... Leuvenplatz means lion. Yes. They make a tort out of it, out of uh, cherries, and they and then uh, add alcohol. Look here. 
Oh, Zuger. Zuger Kirschtort. Not has nothing to do with Zuger. Right. Has to do with Zug. Right. <laughs> so the name of the store is Heine Luzern. Now Heine is his first name or last name. It could be either. But I didn't say anything about what it means then World War II. So here we are in Switzerland, seeing all the uh, cuckoo clocks for the tourists. Cuckoo clocks actually are made in Germany. All different styles. This is the sad lion that's crying because of the loss of the mercenaries that were fighting the king. And lots of tourists coming to see the lion. That's our guy. The spear is ahead of his head and uh, beside the shield. You see? So this and this happened, I told you, 1792. Uh, three years after the French Revolution Day. And the victims dying were about 700, uh, part of them are written in the stone. And this is again sandstone. Also of the houses in uh, Zurich. So what is the uh, translation? Of the translation words is uh, Helvetia, uh, Switzerland. Uh, it's talking about the faith, the faith of these uh, mercenaries defending the 100 years. So of this, celebration. Uh, so it's 1821 that they carved this into the rock. 1821. And it's a sculptor, is a, a sculptor man from uh, Denmark who made this. I see. In collaboration with the Swiss and the German. So this is the wooden bridge, Chapel Bridge. And we're here in Lucerne. And then this is Mount Pilatus, named after Pontius Pilate. catch the boat. Here we're on the famous wooden bridge going across Luzern. It's the longest wooden bridge in either Switzerland or Europe. This is a new painting. This is the longest wooden bridge in Europe. This is from the wooden bridge. And, um, so this is the steamship that will be going on to go across and, uh, Lake Lucerne. Jailhouse. Uh, it's now. And the jewelries they kept. So that's a typical Swiss uh, architecture. Our tour guide has a house in the countryside similar to that one. So this is the Jesuit or Catholic Church in uh, Luzerne, we were supposed to go inside to see the paintings from when they were in India to convert the Indians to Christianity. It used to be the town hall for the cantons of Luzerne, but now it's just used for events. This is the new place where Parliament sits for the cantons of Lucerne. Obwalden, Obwalden, Unterwalden, Schwyz and Uri with the, with the bull. Yes. The yellow. Those are the six Uri. cantons Uri, yeah. of Lucerne. And Andermatt, we were talking about Andermatt. This is the canton of Uri. These are all these and this hard, is the main Swiss post hard office. cantons in the heart of Switzerland. Coming first together and kicking off the bailiffs. It's a recreation hall. So the art gallery It, it was here. built in from 1995, 1995 <laughs> till 2000. So it's 22 years old. And yeah. we will have a steamer. Ah, Look okay. at this. The architect wanted to build this art gallery and theater um, on the lake, but the authorities would not allow it. So he said he will build it with the lake coming into his building. And that's what this is. So it's the main church in 
Mr. Chairman. And this is one of the boats that we could have taken, but we're getting the antique steamer. The most modern one. This is the most modern. The Diamant. The hotels, the palace, and these hotels along Lake Lucerne. The main church. Company building. We saw from, oh, that's right. From the Lions Square. Yeah. So this is the insurance building and then these are the hotels. Schweizerhof. So the boat we're on now is over 100 years old. It's a steam engine with paddle wheels on the side. And we're leaving from Luzerne, Bahnhof Koi. The name of the boat is Dahlia. Here we are pulling out of Lucerne on this antique steamboat over 100 years old, paddle wheeler. Everything in Switzerland is very green, no irrigation, but it rains frequently enough. So here the cabin is getting ready for us to dock. Erdenstein. There's another little kind of Zegis. W-E-G-G-I-S. So now we're coming into dock at Beats and that old, so we can take the cogwheel train up to Mount Briga. So here the train is turning around <laughs> on the turntable. The past times. Yeah, an antique. And this is uh, the 50s, 1950s. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one is from the 1950s. <laughs> so now we landed in bits now off the steamboat, which is now pulling out, and we're going to go on the cogwheel train.
at the top of Mount Rigi, which stands for Regina, the Queen of the Mountains. This shows the hikers can be young and the hikers can be old. We are at 1,798 meters and we got another 15 minutes to the peak and I'm going up and Sandy is staying here. Here the cows are above the clouds and they stay here from June through September. Then they go back down. I'm resting while climbing up this hill. TV radio tower. Here we are at the top of the Riggy. Further, you just go up these steps. Oh. oh, from Zurich. So from Zurich, you can go to Milan. Yeah. And, and this town is Christmas. Christmas. Where the legends of Wilhelm Tell was playing. Ah. Yeah. With the crossbow. Right. Wilhelm Tell from there. And Lucerne is way out there. This is how they establish the maps. Right now we're on Rige, and this is the survey point right over there. And then this. I'm very lucky that, that we have this view because last time I was up here, I couldn't even see the hand on, in front of my. Uh, oh, because face. of the. Clock. This is Chris Naft. So now we're going to take the blue train to Arthur Goldauer. Here comes my cogwheel train. So this is a machine gun that was invented in Switzerland and the Japanese and the Germans all used it in World War II but then the Americans were using it also. This is outside my um, 